Hamilton. And uh, when were you born? I was born February 17, 1943. I'm 69. Uh, I was a letter carrier with the Glenelg Postal Service. Carried mail from 1962 to 2001. Were you in Glen Ellen, Illinois, uh, which I believe is 60137, is that That's correct? That's right. It was a very beautiful neighborhood, and it was one of the nicer routes that um, any of the letter carriers would have liked to have had. Uh, was there any one address in particular that we're going to talk about uh, that you delivered mail to, um, and who resided there? That was uh, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Ayers. And who are they? Uh, Thomas Harris was formerly president of Commonwealth Edison. Um, he has a son that's been in the news whose name is Bill Harris. Uh, now, did you ever know um, Tom Ayers, uh, the husband of Mayor, Mary Ayers? I had a conversation with him uh, not too long after they first moved in. Uh, to their home, and uh, basically it opened up, he asked me about my job, and uh, how I liked my job, and things of, uh, in particular uh, about uh, my employment situation. And then he started in on what I refer to as a Marxist type of viewpoint. Essentially it had to do with the plight of the working man, maybe being taken advantage of, uh, by corporations or the people that employ them. And I, I just had this uncomfortable feeling that he thought he knew about my situation as a working person better than I did, and that he knew what was best for me. Can you recall the conversation in the early 1990s uh, with Mary? Uh, yeah, one day uh, she came to the door when I uh, came uh, up to the house with um, the mail, and uh, after uh, a greeting, she started uh, enthusiastically talking to me about this uh, young black student that they were uh, helping out, and she referred to him as a foreign student, and he had a strange name. She mentioned it. I didn't remember it at the time, and. Um, uh, I was just uh, kind of taken aback by how uh, enthusiastic she was about him. Did you ever um, meet this young student? Well, uh, I don't know if it's uh, some months or even a year later, uh, there was a, uh, a young man, black man, walking down the street uh, just after I had delivered the mail to uh, the heiress home, and he greeted me. And he was very polite. Uh, he was nicely dressed and formally dressed. And immediately he entered into conversation with me and told me that he had uh, taken the train out from Chicago. And he had come to uh, thank the heirs' uh, family personally for helping him with his education. I asked him, I said, well, now that you're out of uh, school, what are your plans? What are you going to do? And he said, and he looked right at me, he says, I'm going to be president of the United States. And there was kind of a little bit of a grin in his face when he said it. And I know how people will say things because they have an ambition or something, but it did not come across that way. It came across like this was something that's already been determined. And I have to tell you that it struck me in such a way I, w I was speechless for a moment. How close were you to the Ayers home when the conversation started? We were on the public walk right in front of their home. You associated this young man you met in, this, in front of the house with the same young man that yes. Mary had told you about. Absolutely. What made you think it was the same person? Because he had come to thank them for helping uh, with his education, and that was the topic of the conversation that I had with Mary. Barack Obama running for office, um, you are, are you certain that this was the young black male you saw in front of the Ayers Hall? I am absolutely positive that it was Barack Obama. I mean, certainly you must realize that um, saying a foreign student mm -hmm. is um, 
very detrimental, very dangerous information because that... Yes. And so... I'm only telling you what I distinctly remember her saying in her description of him that was in the sentence that he was a foreign student.